This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw All right, this is, here we are at Hippocrates Health Institute, and here's a special night at Hippocrates. Tonight at Hippocrates, they're going to have, uh, it's Saturday night, so on Saturday nights, they just have wraps. They don't have their, their usual food, which we saw in another video. So, uh, we have collards here uh, that they use for the wraps for people that are on a 100% raw food diet. And for people that are not, they have some baked tortillas, and they clearly mock not raw. So, uh, they are not 100% raw. They're about... I'd say 90% raw here, but the things that are not raw, they clearly let people know. I like that. So this is their simplified Saturday evening meal, and it's collard wrap or a tortilla. Then they have this avocado sprout mix, and in this sprout mix, they have a bunch of sprouts. That's what Hippocrates Health Institute is known for, and... And in this mix, they have uh, sprouts, they have salad greens, and basically you take the wrap and you put the mixer in there. And then they have some condiments here. They have onions, and cucumbers. Uh, then they have sauerkraut, which they do at every meal. And sauerkraut is uh, one of the things Ann Wigmore, the founder of Hippocrates, uh, let people know about. It has a lot of probiotics. It's a great fermented food. And they have olives here. It's a great flavoring for the wrap. And then they have their house dressing, and again, uh, they're very, to let people know what is happening or what's in the dressing, uh, this is a basic house dressing, and they let people know that there's Bragg's liquids amino in that, because some people don't like that, and they have a, a red pepper tahini dressing, and this is the dressing they always have on Saturday evening, so you can put these both over the wraps. They have some blended garlic, they're very big into garlic here. Uh, then they have dulse, but they have dry dulse, and dulse, uh, there it is, uh, that's how you spell it, it's a wonderful seaweed, or sea vegetable, makes, makes it sound more appetizing, and what they do is they dehydrate at a low temperature so it's still raw, and that's at every meal here at Apocrypus as well. So uh, this Saturday evening, that's all I have here at Apocrypus, you see the rest of the tables are empty. During the week, uh, they have their lunch and their dinner meal. And they have these condiments at every meal, but they have uh, a, a separate tray of sprouts, different types of sprouts. They have a salad, then they have some entrees, and we filmed that in some previous episodes. Uh, but there you go, that's Saturday evening at Hippocrates Health Institute, uh, and that's what they have here. So, uh, we're going to chow down because this is my favorite evening here. And, oh, let me just take you over to the table here. Uh, they have a very, very hot sauce, which uh, is really hot. It's raw, and uh, they have that uh, for people that like that. Then they have garlic, and they're very big into garlic here. Uh, personally, I'm not, but they are. And uh, they have a garlic press, and they used to have them on the tables. Now they just have them here. So people uh, will put the garlic in and press it into their meal. And then they have a whole bunch of their seasonings that people can have if they want to add extra of any of these. They have some namashoyu and they have some uh, cinnamon and some stevia if people just want to make a tea. And then they have these other seasonings. Uh, and that's where it is. And then they have their brags and sesame oil and so on. So let's go ahead and say hello to a, one of our friends in the kitchen. Uh, yeah. Here's our friend Renalte and she's been uh, here at Hippocrates for many, many years. How many yeah. years has it been? Eight years. Eight years. Time and flies. We and uh, raw fun. <laughs> and raw fun. And uh, she helps make the food here. And you also have a website where you make uh, raw food and do demos. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. I actually do um, gourmet dinners in my house. So I demo and people come for dinner. Great. Right. But here's a bunch of the dehydrators they use here. Yeah. Uh, so, Excalibur food dehydrators. Yes. Those work really great because they have trays in them. Nine oh, trays. These nine are nine trays. Tray, yeah, uh, this is just empty. But, you know, one after another. The fan is in the back. So it's always nice and, uh, and uh, moving. It's not stagnant. So always get a dehydrator with trays. Never get the round ones where the fan is at the bottom. Sure. As you can see, you can fill them up and... Uh, Dehydrate nuts and crackers and, and dolls, right? Time. And dolls. Dolls, yeah. Look at yeah. our dolls. Yeah, we we fill it up every day up to here, and then uh, by the end of the day, it's almost empty. And the reason you do that? We just make it crunchy. So oh, this really? Is, this is our little salt connection. Now we know Hippocrates. Uh, a lot of people come here with 
illnesses and some of them are related to sugar but uh, when they come here the people are told if they're allowed to eat sugar or not yes uh, but some people I see they have some sugar fruit here yeah. some people are okay to eat sugar if their blood work is okay and they let them know when they come here right yeah. even if they uh, allowed to have sugar we um, limit them to twice a week to have some fresh fruit for breakfast that's all Wonderful. So twice a week. The rest, we really encourage them to be off the sugar. We certainly don't serve anything except once a week a little dessert, which is banana ice cream yeah. tonight. Yeah. And uh, this is yeah. And this is uh. They have some. Uh, there's the big refrigerator back there that has a uh, hold all the produce. Yeah, and we have one out back too. Now you do have an oven here and uh, a steamer. Yeah. Uh, tell us the, the what percentage of the food here is raw and what percentage is cooked. Okay, ideally 80-20, we encourage people when they go home to the 80-20, here we're probably more like 90-10. Okay, yeah. so 80-20 at home, but here you do 90-10, and the 10% cooked food, yeah. is everyone allowed to have that or some people must strictly avoid that? Okay, um, there are a few people who are uh, advised to be 100% raw, but uh, most people partake in uh, in a little soup. We usually cook some soup, uh, some special items on Friday night and Sunday nights, and that's it. And that's because most people that come in have even heard of raw food, and it's first time their introduction, so you don't completely take it all away. No. You still let and them have some grains and some soup, absolutely, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So if they're having trouble with the food, we always encourage them to ask us to let us know, and then we can steam vegetables for them, and they can have that with their raw food, so they'll make it easier for them. Yes. One thing I definitely uh, noticed, I've been to many restaurants all over the world this kitchen is spotless it is so clean and uh, it, it feels so good to eat the food here because I know that's, that's clean as thank well you. Thanks well, for saying that. well thank you guys and this is uh, just great so uh, there it is is uh, inside the Hippocrates kitchen and uh, they are rocking here and there's uh, their one of their champion juices getting ready for their banana ice cream mm -hmm. Correct. and here's uh, a, a food processor they use is a commercial grade a uh, food processor. It's wonderful. I've used those. Mm -hmm. And they have how many dehydrators? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve at least here. And they might have some somewhere else. So twelve, yeah. That's great. That's good, yeah. All right. And how long have you been here? Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, it's been, uh, uh, and the food is great. It's been a great, uh, great time. Thank you. Great. Thank yeah. you, and thanks for giving us this little tour. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Anytime. Come okay. and visit us. Yes, if anyone's in the area, you can come to Hippocrates. And, yeah, uh, lunch and dinner is open to the public. Lunch and dinner is open to the public for a small it's fee. An, it's, a, it's an educational experience, for sure. Uh, so, uh, come on by, check us out. Wonderful. Well, thank While you. While we're leaving the kitchen here, here's a, a part of the lunch they had here today. Uh, what dish is this? This is there. actually yesterday we had a special night. We had Indian food, and uh, I love making Indian food. Must have been in India in my past life. Uh, but this is um, um, called the dal sag, which is the creamed spinach, spinach and sprouted lentils with a beautiful. Uh, dressing made with parsnip and Indian spices. So that's an Indian dish that we had last night. And it's all raw. It's all raw. Which is yeah. a good question. A lot of people ask, how long does raw food last? So how long would a dish like this last? Uh, approximately three days. Three, three days. Three days is safe. Great. It's Wonderful. Safe. All right. So great. there is the wrap. I just wrapped it in uh, oh. collards. And there's the wrap. I have the sauerkraut in there. And I have the olives. And, and, I, and I'm Noah. Hi, and we're at the properties, and this is the wrap Daddy made. And this is my tea. All right, here's uh, some the water coolers at the properties. These cool water coolers. As you see, there's no water cooler. It actually makes water from the humidity in the air. And then they have um, this table here with uh, some cups for tea, herbal tea, and. Uh, every day they put pitches here twice a day for green juices, which is uh, sprouts, cucumbers, uh, juice, and they have that every day. And so this is in the cafeteria, and then we can look around and see this is their cafeteria area. My name is Noah, and this is Ayla, she's my sister, 
and today we're at a party and we're having a wrap. She likes to eat up this stuff and here's the water, hot, medium, it's between hot and cold and this is over cold and today we are making some tea and there's some right over there at our table and I like that's it. Do you like a pop of tea? Yeah. Why? Because it's healthy and they have lots of kinds of different foods for us to try. Makes it nice and strong. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Brighten up your life